doing? The speakers still aren't working. The inline fuse keeps blowing, so I'm checking all the wires. Wire schmires. How does this swimsuit look? Focus, you two. It's Seersucker's maiden voyage. We need to see if she's seaworthy. I think you mean pond worthy. <laughs> Not bad, right? We're still dry. <gasps> Aha, got it! Ooh, groovable yachting is my favorite kind of yachting. Peaches! But my swimsuit is dry clean only. Who knew relaxing could be so much work? I think we need a break. Go big! My locket! Based on the trajectory of the tidal wave, uh, Peach's wave, the locket should be down there! was going great until it got peached. Go for Polly. This is Lila. Hi. Hey, Polly. What's up, Lila? Hey, Shani. How'd the maiden voyage of Seersucker go? Not great, but I just installed an autopilot feature that should really help navigate waves in bad conditions. Time to test out the open waters. Want to go on a cruise Saturday? Giant waves? Uncontrollable sea life? Count me in! And I know just the place to go. Uh, welcome everyone. I'm Peanut, and this is the Pit Stop's third official Paranormal Fan Club meeting. Uh, please remember, there's a two smoothie minimum for club participants. Uh, oh, and uh, try the cupcakes. Now, did anyone have any paranormal experiences they want to share this week? Yeah. My mail carrier was late three days this week. Blamed it on blisters from his new shoes, but I bet it was ghosts. Or cobbler elves, or aliens, or Bigfoot, or Chupacabra. You're that Vlaga kid, right? I am. I shouldn't even be talking about this. Government has been covering up the mystery of almost Dead Man's Island for years. I'm the last living person to know about the treasure, and I've got the map. But I'm not giving it up for nothing. My most valued possession. A bona fide Sasquatch hair! Deal! The island is cursed. Cursed! If you're brave enough to go there, beware that you'll be haunted by the almost dead man himself. Beware! <laughs> cursed treasure? Um, yeah! Nicholas? Nicholas! Huh? Hello? Oh yeah, I'm here. I was just thinking that this island is really, uh, cool and good for doing normal island stuff. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow? I have to start packing last week! Uh, I don't know, Polly. I've heard developers have been buying up all the islands around Littleton for swanky resorts and beach homes. What if we get caught trespassing? Come on, Shawnee. It'll be fun. I'm not so sure about this. Can't we just hit the pool instead? That way, there's an island that looks cool and totally not haunted. Pretty cool, right? As long as we cut through the waves, we're perfectly safe. Yeah, listen, does Nicholas seem to be acting a little strange to you? Act strange. Strange is his norm. Land ho! Check it out! I don't think we should do this. Islands have sharp rocks and steep gorges and poisonous snakes! Come on, think positively. 
Selected. <laughs> Time to explore, shall we? Not happening. I came here to do one thing and one thing only. Chill time. Polly? Not until I catch some waves. These waves are big enough. Or I'm not small enough. Tiny power! <laughs> Well, Shawnee, it looks like it's just the two of us. Which is why I brought enough reading for both of us. Do you want attack from Planet Nebulosa or the Sword of Brokatron? I want... Let's get going. I have a feeling you're gonna want to see what's on this island. Are you sure you know the way? This doesn't look like a path. <sighs> Listen, I've heard from a reputable and also very sketchy looking source that this island might be haunted. And I'm gonna get the proof for my vlog. Haunted? Really? <clears throat> this is Nicholas with Nicholas's Mysteries. I'm here with Shawnee. Um, hello? And we're on a secret island looking for the almost dead man who's gonna live out his eternal years guarding the island against intruders. What? But we're intruders! Not that I believe in any of that silly stuff. Don't worry, Shawnee. If we run into the almost dead man, I know how to handle him, I think. We're signing off for now. I need to be on the lookout for you know who. It's okay. I have a treasure map. It could lead to riches. Hmm. How can you be sure it's authentic? It looks old, all right, but the edges are so clean. Could be printed and not hand drawn. And oh, come on! Let's investigate already. I don't know, Nicholas. Messing with weird haunted stuff isn't really my thing. If there's no such thing as ghosts, you have nothing to be afraid of. Now stop worrying so much. I'm heading back. Those waves are totally tubular today. Fashionable teen yachting. Ooh, my new favorite vlog. Here comes a big one. Ready, dude? Are you sure this is the right way? Positive. Why? Because it seems like the wrong way. I have a keen sense of direction. But let's take a breather. My tootsies need some serious R&R. &R. Are we slowly moving downward? We are. And does this appear to be a large pool of quicksand? It does. Ah! Johnny? Nicholas? Polly! Go big! Come on, Lila! Polly! Lila! Almost dead! Johnny! Nicholas! Hurry! The fog is eating me! You mean us, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, what to do? What to do? Can I make a suggestion? Of course. Do something! If you get that tree branch and I got it. Hold on to this super tight. Got it! Thanks for the padding. Now let's get back to size and back to our trek. Go big! Go big! That's odd. What the? Okay, it's probably just like when it wasn't working for Grandma. What? The gears are moving the wrong way. Go big, Lila! Tiny power! It must be the paranormal forces on the island. I'm sorry, what? You know, maybe there's a legend about the almost dead man who guards the island who has paranormal haunting powers and... Whoa! Back up the paranormal! 
animal train. Whoa, why didn't you tell us, Nick? That's some seriously freaky stuff. We should get out of here now. Wait, if we left now, we would be nautical miles away from our only chance of getting normal-sized. Don't you see? This is all the work of the almost dead man. If we can find the treasure he's guarding, we'll find him and he can fix it. It's probably a test. What are you talking about, Nick? This island getaway just turned into a let's get away from this island. Come on, Polly. Are you seriously considering not coming on this mysterious treasure hunt? It's the adventure of a lifetime. Besides, we need to find out what's messing with the locket. Okay, okay. I'm in. Ooh, if there are any rubies in this treasure, can each of you grab a handful? They'd be perfect for my summer jewelry line. I'm not convinced that Nicholas's paranormal hypothesis is true. Nonsense. I have proof. Unless you're calling my paranormeter a liar. It's going berserk! So much dark energy around these parts. It is beeping really loudly. Oh, we're getting close. Just down this path. Whoa! Uber vintage digs! You would make the perfect backdrop for a golden treasure chest. And the almost dead man. Only one way to find out. Stay away! The island is haunted! Stay away! Did you hear that? Spooky much? Yep. Definitely passes my scary test. 100%. Something's fishy. There has to be an explanation for all of this. There is. The almost dead man is close. I can almost smell him. Okay. Ew. <gasps> You guys sail? I'll swim back. No, 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 no! We can't stay small forever. We have to keep going. <sighs> He's right. What the? Anyone want to ask him for directions? Weird. The path just stops here at the temple. There has to be a secret passage or something that leads to the treasure. Secret passage? <laughs> Things don't work in the real paranormal world like they do in your books, Shani. It's not like you just press the arm of this statue and then... Get out now! Be afraid! Be very afraid! We're in the dead man's clutches now! No turning back! Zero sense. It won't stop moving. Wait, something's happening. Let me try. Tiny power! Good! Okay, go big! No big! Guess we're all in it together now. Wait a minute. Wait? For what? The almost dead man to eat us? There's no time to wait, Shawnee. No time at all. Lila makes a good point. I really don't think he'd eat us. That's a zombie thing. I think he's more of a ghost or a spirit-like person. I Whatever. We should leave now. Enough! Everyone, listen to me. I'm only saying this once. The force we're experiencing is a magnetic field. There has to be a magnetic force that's throwing off my compass, and it makes perfect sense that it would be interfering with the locket's metal compound gears. We need to find the source of the magnet if we're going to fix the locket, go big, and get home. Skeptical. But I'm buying what she's selling. Me too. Follow me! This way! No! Be afraid! 
This is fun. Those kids are falling for it. It's perfect. It wasn't the cries of the almost dead man. It was whoever that guy is. Based on the wrinkled polyester suit, I'd say a car salesman or a shady real estate developer. It's foolproof. That vlogger kid will spread the word that this place is haunted and no other builder will come near it. Who wants to buy a haunted island? I'll get the whole thing for a steal. It's more like we're stretching the truth and lying, right? It could be haunted. After all, they built the whole amusement park 50 years ago and never even opened it to the public before they went bankrupt. Don't jinx it. My island resort will be glorious and I'm gonna be rich. And as my favorite contractor, you'll get like a... Uh, 10% uh, rich. Amusement park? It's not an ancient temple after all. You should have seen how excited that paranormal kid was when I gave him that old park map we found in the rubble. Thinks it's a treasure map? <gasps> My Sasquatch hair? That's him! Regardless, we need to get a head start on this junk removal so I can get my resort open before anyone else. But you haven't even bought the island yet. It's never stopped me before. Now move that junk! You were right all along. Sorry I didn't listen to you, Shawnee. It's okay, Nick. But listen to me now. We just need to get that locket off the magnet and... Can we speed it up? I'm visualizing a lot of money coming in from this resort. And the faster you work, the faster my imaginary money becomes real. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Shaman. After years of neglect, this area is unstable. We gotta take it slow. Nonsense, it's fine. Money, resort money. <laughs> Whatever. It's gotta be around here. Bingo! Okay, just like the speakers on the yacht, but opposite and completely more complicated. Right, that's the stereo. I have to short circuit the electric current leading to the magnet. I better do it myself. Now let's see. rocks and other potentially ouchy things. Nicholas, the tap! Crank it! We need water! It, it worked. worked! Time for a slide! I'm totally loving Take Charge Daredevil Shawnee. T. 
team. For the record, I'm willing to not complain about the fact that my outfit got wet just this once. <laughs> Faster! <laughs> Woohoo! Shawnee, thanks for getting us out of there. <laughs> I know, she really is amazing. A natural leader. And my hero. <laughs> I'll call the Coast Guard to help them out. When we get back to Littleton, we can't risk getting caught. Smart plan. Ugh. I still can't believe I gave that greedy old lump my Sasquatch hair. Not my smoothest move. You mean this Sasquatch hair? She even dropped it on the beach. Shawnee, you're the best! Sasquatch five! <laughs> <laughs> Messing with the wrong girl. Once you'd eat peas, peas you will eat. Oh boy. <laughs> Holly! Go big! Polly? <laughs> you were supposed to feed Paxton the peas, not paint the kitchen with them. Big sister, Pax has to listen to me. You have to listen to Pax too. If you can see where he's coming from, you can connect with him. He's uncontrollable. <laughs> Good evening, Polly. Miss Mintz. <laughs> And my darling smidgen says hello. Oh, hi, Miss Mentz. We didn't hear you come in. Polly, you won't have to worry about packs tonight. Miss Mentz will be watching you while we go out for dinner. But I like going out to dinner, too. Sorry, Pumpkin. It's date night. Thanks for watching them, Emma. The pleasure is all mine. All right, young lady. You should be doing your homework and... Are you ready, Polly? Coming, Lila. I think not. But Mom said I could help Lila with her new dog walking business. Well, then, it seems only right. Yes! It seems only right that this fledgling entrepreneur walk my smidgen. Finish your homework by the time she returns. I'll consider letting you out to socialize. But my homework's not due until... No buts! I'm the babysitter and you'll do as I say. Now, to your room and you'd better not come out that door till I say so. Uh, see you soon, Polly. <laughs> This is what I get for wearing kitten heels to walk dogs. Wow! Miss Mintz is the worst babysitter. She's probably a shape-shifting lizard lady in disguise. She wouldn't listen to me. Now Lila's all alone with those dogs. Eh, I'm sure Lila will be fine. Slow down! Not again. 
<laughs> Ew! Worst mud mask ever. <gasps> Look, Gigi! Polly's friend tripped! Polly's friend? Come, Gwen. Time to enact Plan 436. 436. Uh, is that the plan where we make cottage cheese wigs and hide in giant muffins? No, Gwen. It's the one where we finally get Polly's locket. Maybe Miss Mentz is the bizarro world Mary Poppins. Lila? Jeannie, three-way call mode. Polly! <laughs> Shutty, help! These dogs are out of control! On my way. You coming, Polly? But Miss Mentz said, you better not come out that door until I say so. <laughs> but you're Polly Pocket. You don't have to go through the door, right? Right. If you get caught, Miss Mentz will make mince meat out of you. Polly, please! Oh, kids these days. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get in... Pajamas already. That's odd. Go big! Come on! Lila needs us! <laughs> Thank my lucky pleats! You're here! We got you covered. We'll show these dogs who's boss. Genie, search for how to control crazy dogs. Showing three results. <laughs> I am Lucero London, dog trainer. To get a dog to obey you, you must prove that you are the alpha dog. Okay. I'm the alpha dog. Do what I say. Lila, release Smidgen's leash. He's safely under my alpha dog command. <sighs> you sure? Of course I'm sure. I did exactly what Lucero London did in his training video. What do you think can happen? As soon as you let go of the leash, Smidgen will take off? Smidgen, sit. <laughs> uh, guys, my practice of objective observational studies leads me to believe that as soon as you let go of the leash, Smidgen took off. Smidgen! Uh, one nine zero zero hours. The park has been cleared of stray canines. We got a bogey at 2 o'clock! Employment maneuver Sly Dog! Smidgen, come back! Gotcha! Sorry, Mr. Dog Catcher, sir, but this dog is under my care. Well, then you best get it under control. It's going to the pound if I see it running around alone again. You won't. I've got this. Dogs are hard to control because they're big. When they're small, it'll be easy. But Lila can't go around town walking the world's tiniest dogs. Someone is bound to notice. Hmm. They'd notice a regular-sized girl with pocket-sized dogs, but maybe they wouldn't notice a pocket-sized girl with a regular-sized dog. Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs here! Gigi, I want to eat a hot dog, not be a hot dog. If you want a hot dog, then you're going to have to nab Polly's locket. We have to blend in. Keep your eyes peeled. Peeled? But I'm a hot dog, not a banana. I ride peaches all the time at home. We'll just giddy up and go right to each dog's house! <laughs> Filthy muff away from me. Polly! Where's Smidgen? Oh no! Oh, 
I got the little cutie patootie. Gwen, put that disgusting dog down. Okay, Gigi. Come back, Smidgen! Polly Pocket? Ooh, Gwen, pick up that disgusting dog. We can use it to ransom Polly's locket. <gasps> Gwen? Miss Grande? Nice outfits. Get her locket! Sorry, gotta go. After them! The locket is almost mine! Bonsoir, welcome to La Gourmet. Beef bourguignon. Smidgen, no! Watch out! Gwen! Turn around! No brakes, Gigi. But at least we still got the steering wheel. <gasps> La Gourmet? Oh, I've always wanted to eat there. It's so chic. Hey, your mom and dad are here. Oh, if we go in, my parents will see us. But we have to get Miss Mentz's dog or my career's over. And you gotta get home. Miss Mentz could be knocking on your door. Don't come in, I'm getting dressed. Oh, child, just choose something to wear. We're going in. You'll be safe in here. Tiny power! <laughs> Smidget, come here, boy. If you come back with us now, you won't be in trouble. Better yet, we won't be in trouble. Over there! <laughs> No escape now. What's that all about? There is a dog and three tiny girls on the loose in here. Sorry, do you and the um, hot dog have a reservation? <laughs> there they are! Look! Look! Uh, as you wish, madame. Dog is worse than socks with sandals. I'm the dog walker. He's supposed to listen to me. He's not listening to anyone. Maybe we need to listen to him. See where he's coming from. Filet mignon for table three! Smidgen would come in here instead of the dining room because the kitchen is where the most food is. Be hungry. Girls, I got an idea. Follow me. Hop on. We're going to get our smidgen back. Let's move! Ooh, creme brulee. Polly, focus! Oh, yeah, sorry, but you should have tasted that creme brulee. Mm. 
Smidgen, oh. I got yummies for you. <laughs> there, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, that reminds me. We can't forget about the other two pooches. Lila, grab some steaks. Good thinking. They're in here somewhere! Come on, we have to get out of here! Smidgen! Let's go, Smidgen! Smidgen, stop! Your parents are headed home! If we don't make it there before they do, I'll be grounded forever! Get the toolkit! Triple doomed! Smidgen, run! <laughs> <sighs> that was a lovely dinner, dear. That mutt! The bark! It's a shortcut! And anything we can do to make this ride shorter makes me happy. Good idea, Shawnee. Smidgen, park! <laughs> I can't, Gigi! My buns are too tight! My chance at catching that dog! Your chance? Uh, you ruined my chance at catching that dog! You know I get paid by the dog, right? Cracker. We've been trying you to unionize no for years, but they just road. keep that threatening to fire us every time we bring it up! I was at the last meeting, and they wouldn't even listen to me! I'm just out here trying to catch corgis! Oh, I do have an affinity for pit bulls. English bulldogs. I know. Oh, pug. You haven't seen a pug. Miss Sangha lives over there. We have to get to be back to her. Go, Smidgen. Lila, grab him out of my backpack. What are you doing there? I didn't know Lila brought you back. That's Miss Betts over there. Go big! Milo! You must have worked up a pretty good appetite to be sitting up here at the table with me. And did you just see that purple light outside the window? Even the odds. Smidgen, show us what you got. Little smidgen. 
How did he do? Oh, he was an absolute angel. Now, let me get your payment. <laughs> Look! Mr. and Mrs. Pocket are home! <laughs> Mrs. Pocket! Have you done something new with your hair? Uh, no, Lila. The same as always. And Mr. Pocket, you have to tell me where you got that shirt. This old thing? Polly! We're home! Polly? Where are you? Uh, right here, Mom. Glad you're back. It's getting kind of late. Can I go give Paxton his nighttime bottle? <laughs> of course. I always appreciate how helpful you are, Polly. <sighs> no! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. How could you eat that? Get it? You want that? Go big! That's better, huh, Pax? Hey, Polly Pie. We brought dessert from Le Gourmet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But did you try the creme brulee? Hey, how did you know about the creme brulee? Uh, lucky guess. A popcorn machine on a sub? Aquatic aperitifs are going to seriously trend. This sub is even better than the sub the Y girls used in the episode where they visited the alien water world. Thanks, Shawnee. Ahoy! We found the treasure! Ah. <gasps> Hello, rubies! Polly! Time to go! Parental alert! Your dad! Polly! You in there? Go freak out! Polly! Time to go to the bi beach! Wow! What? What are you doing? <laughs> Just cleaning the aquarium. Ow! <laughs> oh, we take off in two minutes. Remember, we can't be late because... It's the anniversary of when you and Mom got married and everything has to be... Perfect! perfect. Phew, close call. Sorry, crew. Aw, the annual anniversary beach date. Ooh, that's cuter than a button on a button. Oh, before you head to the fam jam, how about a go big for little Lila and Shawnee? Or how about a you're coming with? We've got a sub to test, high seas to hit, and anchors to, uh, away! Beach day! Yeah! <sighs> how about this spot? Looks pretty perfect to me. That drawbridge is pathetic. More draw, less bridge. <laughs> Too many seagulls. You know what they say about seagulls? That they know how to pick the perfect spot? No, they're the rats of the sea. Over there, quick! Are you sure it's okay we're tagging along, Lila? Of course, Shawnee. Polly wants us here, and the beach wants me here. Win-win. Besides, the ocean breeze makes my hair bounce delicious. Oh, boy. Hey, guys, this is the place. It's the exact spot where I proposed to your mom. This will be perfect. Great! Now that we're here, I'm gonna go to the water to... Don't you want to see my super great extra special make your mama go gaga gift? <laughs> sure. Kids, these birthstones represent our family. One for Pierce, Polly, and Paxton. 
Regular Lance romance over here. Okay, Pierce. Mom will love it. Now, I'll just go for a swim. And I am gonna take a much needed nap. I mentioned today has to be perfect, right? Definitely. Yes. Hey, what the? Hey, no, skedaddle. Get you, crabby little crabs. <laughs> Not today! <laughs> yes, today. Today is our day, Gwen. Oh, are we finally gonna eat the whole Big Bubba's burger at Big Bubba's and get our picture on the wall? No! We are going to get Polly Pocket's locket. Oh, my color. The beach is a little more infested than I remember. I'll be back in a bit. Just going for a swim. Wait. Your mom's like a bloodhound. She can smell a surprise a mile off. If I have the ring, she'll know. So I need you to be the official ring bearer. Official ring bearer? That sounds official. I can do that. <laughs> I, I just had it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, maybe I dropped it, but where? Oh, for the love of love. Dad, I'll retrace our steps on the beach. Great idea, Polly. And I'll go back to sleep. That nap was next level. Pierce, search the bags. We have to find it before your mom gets here because everything has to be perfect. perfect. <laughs> We've got to get better ventilation in there. Lila's perfume was stinking up the whole backpack. Well, I had to smell good for us adventure. Sorry, we'll sub soon, but we have to find the ring my dad lost first. Go big, Lila and Shawnee! The faster we find the ring, the faster we can test the submarine. We're happy to help. Plus, it'll give me a chance to break in my new Chloe Parmesano flip-flops. Oh, claws up the shoe, sushi roll. Look, that crab has the ring. Um, crab dens are generally on the not list. Speaking of the not list, I would never recommend the movie Night of the Claw. Having seen it makes me cautiously hesitant about this idea. Besides, the opening is way too small. <clears throat> All right, the locket, the shrinking. Tiny power! Hey, guys. Here you are. <gasps> She's early. I'll distract her. Keep looking. Remember, sunset. Uh. Honey! Darling! <laughs> Sweetheart! Um, hi, honey. Is everything okay? You've got some, uh... Oh, this? <laughs> you know I love the feel of sand in my face and eyes. <laughs> Makes me feel young. Come on, uh, I want to show you, uh, something. Over here. Come on, Shawnee. What do you think the little crabbies are gonna do? Attack you? <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, it's like a sparkly dream. <gasps> this cave just got upgraded to the hot list. Talk about an underground operation. Who knew crabs steal stuff? Where do we even start? Uh, guess we just have to jump in. Ha, ha. Woo if it gets me closer to pearls. Flingo! Lila, focus. We have to find the ring. Right, the ring. Uh, Shawnee, the blood draining from your face look, yeah, it doesn't suit you. Uh. Buddy. Uh... The ring has to be here somewhere. Back off, snappy pants. Come on, Lila. I can't hold them back much longer. Way to go, 
Mr. Pocket. Come on! Incoming! We're almost out! What, what the? the? Ah! Polly! <laughs> Griselle Grande? Polly! Gotcha, Pocket. Back off. Let me go. Hey, Gigi. I got some fries. You want one? Hey, Gwen. Can I have one of those? Oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Huh? Flying huh? rats! <laughs> rats of the sea. Polly, the ghost. I got this. Oh, the locket! <laughs> Go power! Perfect pickup. Thanks, buddy. You are definitely more understanding than those crabs. <gasps> Take that, Polly Puppet! I can't see! No, the ring! Is there still something you wanted to show me? Uh, yeah. Check it out. This is something, right? Uh, yeah. Same as the last three sandcastle sculptures we saw. Thanks, skull friend. We have to get into that castle and get that ring. Polly, parental alert. <gasps> Grandi alert! Quick, follow me. Love how they decorated the place. Sand is so in right now. Nice, but they're mixing 16th century detailing with 17th century architecture. If I were a ring that fell from the sky and landed in this castle, where would I be? Where? Uh, Polly? The ring! <laughs> uh, it's stuck! Hurry! <laughs> I can't hold you forever! Uh. Did you hear that? Sounds kind of like a fountain, or a stream, or a... Run! Got it! Ha! I got her, Gigi! I got her! No! My Opus! Get that woman! You should just tell your dad it's gone. Wait, I have an idea. <sighs> Please tell me you found it. My arms are so tired and my fingertips are raw from digging. Right. Anyway, I'll be back soon with the ring. <laughs> now, would you look at that? Outhouses? Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, uh, doesn't it have a, a Stonehenge feel to it? Uh, wait, look at those ones. Kind of a Easter Island feel? Uh, no, okay, if this is what you wanted to show me. Yeah, I, uh, no, but, uh... <laughs> Detecting level eight rip current. Opposing tides can cause serious turbulence. Hold on tight. Polly, rip currents are dangerous. Whoa! 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 Ah! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Phew! Made it through. Just like riding a bike. Only the bike is underwater and a submarine. How are we supposed to find a tiny ring in a big ocean? I'll use Genie to operate the radar system and scan for the ring. 
Right. And while you're at it, can Genie play us a calming lullaby? Not loving this scary ocean. Approximately one inch diameter, metal with mineral insects. It found something! Over there! Not it. Over there! There's so much junk down here, we're never going to find it. Polly, rip current returning. Level 10. Hold on! The current is too powerful! I can't fight it! That's it! We need to stop resisting and follow the current! It should lead us right to the ring! Sometimes you gotta ride the train, girlfriend. You're right, Shawnee. Concentrate. Molly? Got it. What? B -b Bear a Cuda! Bear a Cuda? Bear a Cuda. Oh, Barry Cuda. Well, wait, the guy that sits across from us in the cafeteria? Bear a Cuda! Ah! <laughs> You want it? Come and get it! <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh, quick, get me out of here! <laughs> Girls, buckle up. We should just call it a day and head back to land where the barracuda threat is substantially lower. We're not giving up so easily. That ring meant so much to my dad. I told him I'd be the official ring bearer and I'm gonna bear that ring. <laughs> the ring is mine! Wait, I thought we're after Polly's pocket. <gasps> Polly is after the ring. Now that we have it, the rug rat will come to us. Get it? Uh. <laughs> Ready? Yes! Never! <laughs> Polly won't be able to resist our shiny new bait. The locket will be mine. <laughs> oh, then we can get more fries, right? I see it. I'm going in. Her. Grab the ring. Don't let her friends get it. <laughs> Hand over the locket or walk the plank. Popcorn, Shawnee. How can both of you eat at a time like this? I didn't have Shawnee bring it up here to eat. Go big! Popcorn! <laughs> 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 this one's pecking my ears! I think he likes me! <laughs> 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 
Beach walking's great, huh, Snookums? Well, the first six miles were nice. I'm using Genie's diagnostic system to scan the ship. We have to fix this sub and get the ring back to Dad. Maybe we should just go big and swim back. The ocean is too choppy and we're too far from shore. Fixing the sub is our only chance. Catastrophic damage to external coupler ring. Whoa! The propeller fell off. Looks like the bolt that holds it in place broke. <sighs> what can we use to fix that broken coupler ring? Coupler ring. Coupler ring. A ring. A ring. A ring. <gasps> the ring! I just verified the specs and it's the perfect diameter. Thanks, Shawnee. Lila, did you pack the wetsuits? Packed and bedazzled. You go, girl. Walking all day and now I'm blindfolded. I thought you wanted to show me something. Honey, I have too much work at home to be fooling around all day. I just wanted the day to be perfect. What are you talking about? I just wanted this day to be perfect. Happy anniversary, dear. This is incredible! The same spot we got engaged, but so much better now. Our whole family is here. We have come a long way. Aww. What was that? Uh, happy anniversary, Mom! I hope you like what we've done for you. Like it? I love it! Enough with the sappy stuff. Who wants some cake? <laughs> You know what they say about seagulls. They're the rats of the sea. <laughs> 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 